Last time. Dear Journal, It has been several weeks since I left Ponyville. I have spent my time traveling across Equestria, hoping to find my place in this new world without anger or war. So far, I've found no purpose yet, and now my eyes are set on the Crystal Empire. Perhaps... God, this is boring. Time for a montage. All hail, Shadow. Heroes rise again. Obliterating everything that's not your friend. Like this bitch, nothing can stop you now. No ghost to bring you down when there's nothing left to lose. You win. <laughs> this is what I get for singing a song, isn't it? And now our story continues. Once upon a time, there was a young unicorn who lost her horn. And when her magic didn't work the way it used to, she lost her friends. That little pony had everything taken from her. She lost everything that made her who she was. So, she made herself a promise. Never again, she said. She had lost most of her magic, but she had an incredible capacity for endurance. She decided to use that endurance to train what wayward magic remained. If fate had only left her the capability for destruction, then she would become a fearsome warrior. If those friends couldn't love her anymore, they would fear her. She found a leader as ruthless as she was. She made herself into a weapon. She learned every dirty trick in the book. Just so she could end up right back where she started. <laughs> I twisted myself. I did terrible things in the name of becoming stronger. And when the moment came, I froze. I was still that helpless little filly in the cave. In the end, it was all for nothing. Fizzy! Get away from her! Her light is blinding. Even with my eyes closed, it still hurts. Go on now! Get! <laughs> Half blind and confused, the bear stumbles away as fast as it can. We'll catch up with you in a bit. Well, that was intense. Usually, if you could make a loud noise or a bright light, it startles them enough to run away. Since the day I lost my horn, I fantasized about what would happen if I found myself back here again. Did he get you anywhere with the claws? You look okay. Do you feel okay? But this is a scenario I never imagined. Fizzy, what's wrong? This is worse than anything I could have imagined! My name is Tempest Shadow! I am not that weak little pony who wandered into a cave and had everything taken from her! I'm sorry, Tempest, I just... This is unacceptable. She has to learn. I was the commander of the Storm King's army! I struck fear into the hearts of creatures from every land! Ponies quake at the mention of my name! I'm sorry! I wanted to save you! I survived having my horn broken. I made myself stronger! I've defeated armies and princesses! I'm sorry! I'm- <clears throat> She needs to open up her eyes! You do not get to save me now! I'm sorry, Fizzy! I threw the ball! I should have gone in! What? It should have been me! Suddenly, I realize that I've been playing the same story in my mind all these years, but I've missed something. We were throwing the ball. I threw it to you, and when you tried to catch it, it went right past you. We looked at each other for a minute. I knew I should have gone to get it, but... You just went in without asking me! You were always the brave one, but it should have been me. I should have lost my horn. Or worse. I've thought about that cave every day since. Since it happened. And I've never considered that Glitter Drops had thrown the ball. That she should have gone to get it. I never thought that anybody should have gone to get it but me. But I chose to get it. I used to think about that day all the time. I felt so guilty that it was you and not me. Huh. Huh? How can I describe exactly how I felt in that moment? It's like, all this time, I've been looking at a painting of a house. And then I looked at it from the side and, what do you know, turned out it had another dimension. It was a real goddamn house this whole time. 
I always looked at the cave as something terrible that did happen to me. But if I had the option of turning the tables, of sending one of my friends in there, of Glitter Drops losing her horn instead of me, I would have always chosen to be the one who went in there. Tempest? I'm sorry, Tempest. I'm so sorry. Stop that. It's not your fault. Thank you, Tempest. No, that's not right. What? You call me Fizzy. Now come on, we've got a bear to catch. Wait, are you telling me that you turned Celestia and Luna to stone? Cadence too. though I'm honestly not sure why. I don't know what she would have done to stop us. What? Cadence is the best! She might be more powerful than Celestia. Haven't you heard the stories about the wedding? The changelings overpowered Celestia and Twilight, and then Cadence just comes in like, I got this, and killed them all! Yeah, I don't see it. And when Sombra was trying to come back, she shielded the whole Crystal Empire from him for days! What's a Sombra? Come to think of it, what is the Crystal Empire? Has this always been here? I've never noticed it. And it's not on any of the Storm King's maps. Oh, he was an evil pony that tried to take over the Crystal Empire, and it just appeared one day. Like, poof, it's here. You all get nearly conquered a lot, don't you? You don't know the half of it. It was good to talk to my first friend as... a friend again. But there were still questions I needed to have answered. Glitter Drops, why did you abandon me? Abandon you? I didn't abandon you. Yes, you did. Both you and Spring Rain. Once I lost my horn, you and Spring Rain started playing together and leaving me out. And then it got worse. The two of you went off to Celestia's school and left me all alone. Huh. When you say it that way, I guess it does sound like we abandoned you. How I remember it is a bit different. Spring Rain and I tried to include you after you got out of the hospital, but... I don't know. We didn't really mind that you couldn't do what we could do. But it sure seemed to make you sad. And we both already felt guilty about what had happened. We didn't want to make you even sadder. But then when you left for school, I never heard from you. Oh, well, that's a little... Wait. Do you hear that? Uh, no. The wind shifted, but I think it was over here. Get down. What are we doing? I feel ridiculous. We'll stand out against the snow. We need to stay in cover. Stop right here. Why? Trust me, this is my job. Look and listen. What was that? It was the call of a wild animal. What kind of animal? The kind we've been hunting. There it is. Let's go get it. Wait, stay right here. Why are we waiting? It's going to get away. We're not here to catch it, Fizzy. Then why are we here? Look and listen. <coughs> Have you ever heard an Ursa make that sound before? What does it matter? Because it's not a growl. Mating call? No, it's not a mating call. Why does every pony always say mating call after I ask? Okay, then what is it doing? <coughs> it's calling out to its mother. It's lost. And there it was. I wasn't looking at a villain or a hunter. I was looking at a kid. Lost. Alone. Abandoned by its friends. The mountains where the bears live are northwest of here. He must have wandered away while they were looking for food. What do we do? If he stays out here, he'll freeze. I have an idea. Just stay with me and stay low. Well, that was a different noise. How did he... That's when it hit me. That strange sound I heard wasn't coming from the little Ursa. It was coming from a mama bear. Uh, Glitter Drops, you may want to open your eyes. I can't. This takes a lot of concentration. But there's another bear. I know, Fizzy, and it's very big and scary. No way. I realized at that moment, I'd been underestimating my friend. She may not have been anyone's commander. But Glitter Drops was strong. He's following it, right? Yes. Okay, good. Help me stay with him. Just steer me the right way. I've got you. Stay with me. As we walked quietly back through the snow, 
I was finally free of my obligation to make small talk with Glitter Drops. As she concentrated on the spell that created the imaginary bear, she didn't have the attention to spare. The funny thing is, now I wanted to talk. My mind was racing. The creature I'd seen as a vicious beast, intent on hurting me, was just a hurt child hurting others to try to keep control. Just like me, it had lost something and would do whatever it had to to get it back. And I thought about the bear in the cave. It seemed enormous to me as a felly, but it couldn't have been much bigger than this one. Could it have struck me out of fright as I invaded its cave? Could it be there are no true monsters? Are they all just hurt children trying to regain something they've lost? <sighs> Almost there. Uh, that should do it. Do what? Wait and listen. <laughs> we should go before we get spotted. Okay. Well, the truth is, I always wanted to work in the Everfree Forest, but every time I tried, it seemed like something was always happening. The one time I got in, all these Black Rouges started popping up out of nowhere and destroying the place. And that town on its border, Ponyville? What's their deal? There's like always some crazy big drama happening there. It's like the place is cursed. Uh, yes. Tell me about it. This is nice. I like this. Dropsy, I still have one more question. Why did you guys abandon me? We didn't abandon you, Fizzy. We went to school. But you didn't write. You never came home. Oh, that. Well, the explanation for that is not great. You remember that, before you got hurt, the three of us were all at the top of our class. We spent more time playing than working, but still everything came easy to us. Then Spring Rain and I got recruited to Celestia's school. Celestia's school was different. At home, we were the stars of the class. But there, well... We couldn't keep up. I didn't come home because I was struggling to keep up. Come on, it couldn't have been that bad. Fizzy, I dropped out. What? I couldn't learn all the spells. I didn't have a memory for it and I kept blowing things up. Shit's tough. But I just saw that spell you cast. That giant bear was amazing. It's just an illusion. You cast a pretty mean lightning spell yourself, but neither of us are exactly princess material. That's the truth. <sighs> that reminds me. I have to report back to Princess Hearts and Tiaras here. Why don't you like Princess Cadence? I've never had any use for love. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with it. Well, Fizzlepop Berry Twist, you don't have to do anything with it. But if you ever find yourself alone and angry again, remember that you have a friend here that loves you. Tempest, you're back already. Okay, Cadence. How'd you do it? How'd I do what? You know what? How'd you know about me and Glitter Drops? What do you mean? She was my friend when I was young. She was one of the two friends from- Yes? <clears throat> you know this already, why am I telling you? Tempest, is there something you want to say to me? Yes, there is. Well, go ahead. Don't hold back just because I'm a princess. I just wanted to say... Thank you. It hurts to say, but I have to say it. So we went well then? Yes. We found the Ursa that was causing the destruction and returned it to its home. Excellent, but we both know that's not what I was asking about. Y yes it went well. We talked through a lot of things and, um, well. You don't have to tell me. Just... Remember this the next time you wish there was a princess of military air supremacy. She's never gonna let that go. <sighs> Great. And this concludes The Return of Tempest Shadow. Until next time... <laughs> <laughs>